Only on six, an Oregon rancher is making waves with his unique way of water skiing. He is capable of something that most of us would find difficult or even impossible. Yeah. Coin Local 6 photojournalist Bill Cortez spent time with the cattle rancher, and he has that story. My name is Jeff Hancock, and I'm a cattle rancher in Central Oregon. The good thing about being a cattle rancher is you do all kinds of things. You're growing grass for the cattle, you're working the cattle. They say we raise cattle, but actually you raise grass just to feed the cattle. Certain times of year it's really 24-7 when you're calving cows. This time of year you're just making sure their grass is growing and you're getting them fed. It's a pretty physical job. Quite a bit of walking, more than I want. One of the most unique parts of this ranch is we have a private water ski lake. Looks like we have a good day. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Any day on the water is a good day. One leg, no options. I lost my leg here on this ranch in a tub grinder from 93. I never skied before I lost my leg. I wasn't a water skier. So after I lost my leg, somebody asked me, you teach me to be a cowboy and I'll teach you to water ski. And I said, okay. So I'm still water skiing, but I don't think he's cowboying anymore. I'm in. Okay, here we go. I'm a slalom skier, which is uh, I'm out there going around six buoys at a certain speed, and every time I make it, I up the speed, and then after a certain amount of speed, I start chopping lines. I set a national record in 05 at Mint Lake in Washington. Two and a half buoys at 32 miles an hour, and then two weeks ago, I beat that record by five buoys. I'm pretty free on the water. You know, it's just like, I have no handicap. For me, it's just a total freedom. The water is kind of an equalizer. Okay, we're going to have uh, Jeff don the socket. Today I'm getting fitted for the new genium leg made by Autobach. This is the state of the art at this point. My name is Steve John. I'm a prosthetist here at Eastside Orthotics and Prosthetics. Jeff, take a couple steps. This also has a gyroscope in it and proximity sensors that can tell which direction the knee is moving in general. It's gotten real close to being a complete replacement as far as the, the way the knee functions. The way the prosthesis fits is still a limiting factor because there's always that interface, but as far as what the technology does for people, they can do pretty much anything. This leg is just gonna be huge. It's not like I have an office job. This leg should just make my, hopefully, a career longer as a rancher. Okay, here we go. When I'm on land, I know I have a prosthesis on, but out on the water, I feel like I don't have any limitations. Freedom, total freedom. Cruising across the water. <laughs> Such an inspiration, 32 miles an hour out on the water like that. And I just, I'm amazed at just how easy it looks when he does that. I mean, I couldn't do that, and just watching him just makes it look like like yeah, it's nothing, absolutely. kind of like our Bruce Sutton.